Hey YouTube, Colorful Colts here. So today I'm going to do a popular algorithm. It's called the Sudoku Validator. Um, basically, we're given a Sudoku grid and we have to return true or false if it's a valid Sudoku. A valid Sudoku is um, a grid that all the rows are, are contain unique numbers from one to nine, all the columns contain unique numbers from one to nine, and all the three by three um, squares contain numbers from 3 to 9. So this is a very cool algorithm. We're going to be using classes and yeah and in the blog post below I'm going to also include test cases. Um, I think that's it. So yeah we should get started. Oops. So right here I have a valid board. Uh, as you can see all these numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's unique, unique characters, and also this row is unique. So this grid is supposed to return um, true. So I'm just going to start off by creating a class. And we're going to call our class Sudoku Checker. All right. Um, and then we're going to in initialize, instantiate one of them. We're going to initialize our board. <laughs> oh, by the way, so I saved this in a sudoku.py um, file. So you should do the same. Um, and then we're going to just give it the board. And we're going to, I don't, I don't know the terminology for this. We're instantiating the board. Um, yeah. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to have is our board validator. So our board validator is going to hold, we're going to have three different functions. We're going to have um, check rows, we're going to have check columns, and check squares. So our board validator is going to call each of those, and each of those functions should return true. So we're just going to define board validator. Also going to take the board. And it's going to return so this is our check rows. I didn't make it yet. Um, but our check rows is going to take the board and it should return true. Um, yeah. Oh, let's see that. Should also return true. And if, if and if any of them fail, then um it's going to return false. How do I do a new line again? Let me see. I'm going to do a slash. I hope that works. And this should also equal true. All right, so now we got, we're going to have another function that's going to um, it's going to compare all of them. So each time for like check rows, check columns, check squares, we're going to check to see if um, if the return value or if the list that we create is valid, is unique has unique numbers from one to nine. So we're gonna create another function. It's gonna call it's gonna be called compare all. Um, and it's gonna hold a list. This could be any variable that you want. And we're gonna have a variable called compare and it's gonna be from range one to ten. So remember ranges are from are up to up to 
the, the last number. So it's going to be 1 through 9, basically. And it's going to return sorted. Um, because as you can see right here, this is a valid row. It has all unique characters, but range is going to return a list, 1 to 9. So we have to compare the range with the sorted, um, which should also, which is going to be like the row for that case. So we're just going to do list equals compare. Okay. So next we're going to do our first function. We're going to do the check rows function. We're going to also give it the board. And it's going to, we're going to do a, <laughs> oops, all right. So basically we're going to do a for loop through each row. This is the easiest one. We're just going through each row and we're just checking to see if it's valid. So we're just going to do a for loop for i in um, self.board. If not self dot compare all i. So i is going to be the row that we're giving it. Then we're going to return false. Um, and, and then if it goes through each row and it's, and it's valid, it's going to return true. So let me explain this right now. So I, is, this is I, this is the first I, for I and self.board. If not self.compareAll, so this function, this list right here, this first I iteration is going to go here. It's going to compare, it's going to also, it's going to compare itself. It's going to sort as a list and it's going to compare itself to the other list. And then if it's true, if they equal the same thing, then it's going to come back here and it's going to be if if not true. So if it's if if it is if it's false, it's going to um, return return false. But if it's true, it's just going to continue again. So in this case, it's going to return true and then it's going to say if if not true, if false, basically. If it is true, it won't call this function. It's just going to continue um, over and over again. Okay. So the next function that we're going to do is that we're going to check the columns. As you can see here, we, oh, we have unique columns here. It's going to check all of these. It's going to iterate. So in this case, we're going to be feeding each value into another list. So I'm going to define the function check columns. It's also going to take the board. And we're going to start with another for loop. So for i in range, we're going to do the length of the board, which the length of the board in this case is 9. Yeah, because the Sudoku is 9 by 9. <laughs> Um, yes. And then we're going to have our list. For some reason, I always call my list hold. So, yeah, it holds the values. Um, and we're putting it in this outer function, outer loop, because each time um, it iterates, it's going to reset the list empty. So, because we're going to have two for loops. I'm going to do 4j in range length of board 0. So this is going to get the length of the columns, which will also be 9. And when we get here, we're going to append the value um, of each, we're going to append each value to the hold list. So right here, if, when, it's, when it's 0, it's going to grab this value, and then j is going to iterate again, and then j is going to grab this value. But the whole time, i is going to stay as 0. So we're going to do hold.append board j i. 
So I'm going to repeat that again. This i on first iteration is going to be 0. And then j is going to iterate 9 times. So j, so i is, so, oops. So at, on first, j is going to be 0, i is going to be 0. We got this value. And then j is going to be 1, i is going to be 0. And then j is going to be 2, i is going to be 0. And then j is going to be 3. And so on and so forth. And then finally, it's going to exit out of that loop, and it's going to go down here, and it's going to compare hold. So hold should now have nine values um, within it. And then it's going to check if not self dot compare all. Hold. So it's going to hold the list. It's going to call it. It's going to return false. So now hold has all of these values. It's going to go once again up here, and it's going to sort it, and it's going to compare. And if it's valid, it's just going to continue. If it's uh, unique numbers in the row, it's just going to come back here, and it's just going to continue the for loop again over and over until we've done all the columns. And then we're just going to return true. And if, if, and, if, and if any of them is like, I don't know, a random zero or extra one or something in the column, it's going to return false. So the next function that we're going to do is the check squares. This one is a little bit more complicated than the others, but essentially we'll be checking these three by three individually. So it would be the 534, 672, and the 198. And then we're going to be doing a nested for loop again. Um, but this time we're going to be stepping. So we're going to be using range and we're going to step, be stepping within each range. I'm going to show you what I mean. So let's start with defining the function. I'm going to define check squares. It's also going to be self and board. I'm going to take the board. So our first for loop for i in range, we're doing 0, 9, and three. So basically what this is, is that from zero to nine, well, okay. We're going in the range of zero to nine, but we're going by threes. So essentially I is going to iterate, I is going to be zero, and then I is going to be three, and then I is going to be six, and it will stop at nine. Um, this is going to be our outer for loop, because if you see here, we're going to have to go nine times. Um, in the 3 by 3 over. And then we're going to do our inner for loop for j in range, also 0, 9, 3. So first we're going to start with our um, variable, which is variable nums, which is going to do uh, the grab, grabbing the squares. So first we're going to do the board i which is 0, and on first iteration, j is also 0. So we're going to grab from 0, j, to j plus 3. So to explain that, i is 0, and j is 0. So it's going to grab 0, 0, but it's going to be 0, 2, 3. OK? So it's grabbing this first. And then what we want to do is we want to grab the next, the next row under it. So in that case, we're going to have to do, because this value is going to be 1 in terms of the outer loop. OK? So we're going to iterate, I mean, we're going to increment um, board i, which is 0, but we're going to do a plus 1. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do j to j plus 3. So now, now we've grabbed this. So essentially, we're grabbing board one, board one, and then, and then board like um, zero to three again. So zero to three. And then we want to grab this too. So, so it's, it's going to be board two, board two, um, and then J will be zero to three also. Oh man, I plus 2, 
Then a J. Um, it's a J plus three. So I'm really hoping I'm explaining this right. So num should basically return this entire thing, this entire square right here as a list. And then next we're going to do what we've been doing before. We're going to be doing the compare. So we're going to say if not self dot com compare all, and then we're going to give it nums because nums is now a list of nine integers. Then we return false. Else, if it's valid, we're going to return true at the end. Okay. So yeah, so essentially that is our algorithm. That is it. So once again, um, we're going to, oh, and then we have to do the calling. Oh gosh. So at the bottom, if we want this to work in the terminal, I'm going to set a variable s and I'm going to make it equal to the class. Oops. Equals sudoku checker. Uh, the sudoku takes um, one argument. And then I have to call uh, this function, which is going to start the whole program. So I'm going to do s dot forward validator. It's also going to take forward. And then if I want to see it in the terminal, I'm going to have to print it. All right? And then we're going to save. So let me open up my terminal. And let's hope that this works. All right, so I'm going to do cd to c dot pi. Oops, I'm sorry. Something Python. Sudoku dot pi. Oops, it's true. Um, and I'm going to change a value in here. So I'm going to add an extra one, and it should return false because it needs to be all unique characters uh, numbers. Let's try that again. False. Isn't that awesome? I'm so happy I finally did this algorithm. Um, this is a pretty, I never really get to use this stepping in ranges. So this was pretty cool. And this is a pretty interesting, um, I don't know, way to do things. So yeah, so definitely check the blog post below. Um, I will do a step by step. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, and best of luck. Take care. Bye.